Hi, after some users had problems installing the reply with attachment add-in, I would like to show you how the safest and fastest way to install Outlook add-ins look like. I would also like to apologize to all of you who had problems with the installation. Unfortunately, we as add-in developers cannot influence the installation process itself. So that's completely in control of Microsoft. But let's get started. We start in Microsoft Outlook and you can see in the home ribbon bar there's an icon and it's called get add-ins. We will click on that and just look in the upper right corner for our reply with attachment add-in or any other add-in. It all looks the same. We can just click on it and then say yeah let's add it okay that's all now it's deployed on any device and we can go back and check if it's already working just open our prepared email and then we can see okay our two new icons are there just click on it it will open new email documents are attached and now we can use the functionality so let's open a document quickly do our comments and send it back to our colleagues let's switch to edit mode and then just mark something okay save it close it send it that's all, let's check if everything went well. Now email is there, open the document and now we can see that it worked out. Let's take a look how the add-in works on Mac. Um, getting the add-in is pretty the same. As you can see, there's the same button and the same mechanism to download the add-in. Um, furthermore, if you installed the app in add-in on one device it's automatically deployed on every device besides uh, mobile devices but let's get started um, we have there the, the same email let's try it again and see what will happen yeah it's done but nothing happened why you can see that there's a new email in the draft folder and you have to work with the email out of the draft folder. Why? Um, yeah, pretty good question. Um, there's a Microsoft bug, it's reported already, but there's no way we can bypass that right now. Um, we could bypass it by transferring all the data to our service, but we don't want that. We want that your data stays on your infrastructure. And so we have to live with that bug and I'm pretty sorry and I want to apologize to all Mac users, but I will stay tuned and as soon as the bug is fixed, I will deploy a new release. Thanks a lot and have fun. If there are any questions, just get in touch with me. Bye bye.